everyone and welcome to a special video on the channel. Today I'm going to be taking us on a tour around Tokyo to check out sort of secondhand stores to see if we can find some rare and banned Pokemon cards. Now if you're a fan of my channel you might have seen Pokemon pop up here and there in between massive amount of dinosaurs. But Pokemon is kind of like dinosaurs, like they evolve and I mean some of them are prehistoric and today we're going to be looking at some of these stores and in them they have a variety on hoping they will do of different Pokemon cards. When it comes to the West, Pokemon cards are, well, I mean, let's be honest, they are now basically stocks and trades. There's no other way to put it since certain YouTubers started selling them for millions. But when I was a kid, I would love to go to car boot sales. I think Americans would call them yard sales. You know, you'd quickly like scroll through, oh, is that, got, got, need, some stuff like that. In Japan, that is still a thing. You can still go to stores, find loads of Pokemon cards, from the 90s. That's exactly what we're gonna do here today. I'm looking for some banned cards, stuff that didn't make it out of Japan, whether that's artwork that the West just didn't see that, uh, you know, that fitted with uh, a kid's program, or whether they were just cards that were actually sold in vending machines. So, without further ado, Let's start this adventure. <laughs> Gotta get them all. <laughs> and even though I've spent the first minute of this video telling you that we're gonna be looking for Pokemon cards, I couldn't help myself. I had to find something dinosaur related. What is this? Dinosaur leader. Velociraptor simulation walking. <laughs> Forget Gundam. Make a cup of noodles. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is stuff. Right, these are new ones. That's a promo card. They keep the expensive ones in here, but they usually have stuff out that you can just sift through. It's like 50 yen. Like, you'll find these in most of hobby offs and book offs, like just behind. If they're expensive and they're got good, if they're in good, good condition as well. Not really what I was looking for though. But you never know, you can find some rest. I mean, ban stuff in here too. Lots of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Are these Beyblades? Let's have a look in here. These seem to be all newer cards though, these ones. Yeah, they all are from the same set, these guys. Oh. oh. Yes. You can see the age. You can see the yellow. Wow, okay, this is where we're gonna find lots of interesting things. So loads of energies, but then... Let's get out of this bundle here. So we got old jungles, fossils, more jungles, uh, and then just a random one that's not even old. <laughs> wow. Also, yeah, you'll see that these, these are, they're in various conditions. Some of them not so great. Also, I kind of, you know what I want to do? I want to find like a really beat up card and then get it graded. I think I went to one not too long ago and they had a Aerodactyl and someone, like a kid had folded it like four times and then <laughs> he put it in my pocket to go to school. <laughs> I didn't buy it and I, I, I will regret that decision for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, that's a cool art. I don't know what that is though. <laughs> it's, a cool, it's a cool art though. That's what I quite like about this. I'll just see cards and like, oh, that looks awesome. Oh, seeing that though, just a random old ruin card there from the Caterpie. Just in the middle. The same with an old coughing as well. <laughs> that's terrifying. Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yes. All the old school games. You got your classic Donkey Kong Country. Actually, I think that might be a Japanese exclusive game. I think it is. Yeah. I think that one is. It's freaking Tingle's Playhouse or whatever. <laughs> Come for Pokemon, get, get a Zelda title. That's a really good condition. Um, what's it called? Pikachu. Hey you Pikachu. Hey you Pikachu, that's it, yeah. I might have to get that. <laughs> oh wait. Whoa. Is that the one that comes with the exclusive card? With a Lugia card? Is that the second game they made? It's part two. Part two. Yes, okay. mm. To just ask to see if it comes with the card. Yeah, because if it does, then you got yourself a super rare card. Ooh. Yeah, I knew that. I, I just needed someone to confirm it. I know what I'm doing. Don't be silly. The box looks in really good nick. I mean, it's definitely open, but games like that, they weren't sealed back in the day. So, so yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. We'll have to go. 
Oh, there's, there's no, no manual. manual. Oh, uh, there's a mm. hey, a card. Hey. That came with the car. That's a that's a rare car. <laughs> so the first one was international release, right? Correct. The first trading card game. This one. Did that come out anywhere but Japan? Only Japan. So only Japan, and not only is it only Japan, it came with an exclusive card. And of course that's rare, because everyone who bought the thing got the card itself. The fact that we actually found this with the card unopened, super rare find. And that's the first one we've hit so far. So, let's get going to more. <laughs> the reason why we're going all the way sort of around Tokyo is because a lot of these stores, like the book offs that are in Akihabara and things like that, are basically being pillaged by, you know, people like me who want to find these rare and exclusive things. But the best way to find the rare stuff is to go out here. In 2015, I bought loads of Pokemon stuff and I kind of collected all of the, the base set, gym heroes, all that jazz. But I never really got the Japanese stuff. And because Japan has its own sort of economy when it comes to cards, these rare ones have only recently, since the Pokemon boom has happened, come into the, the public light. That's why instead of looking for like, oh, the first edition Charizard and stuff like that, I want to find these rare cards. They might not be the most expensive for saying that, we just kind of found a really expensive card. <laughs> but you, it's fine, we had, we had to get it. I'm looking for more like sifting through and finding those, you know, banned ones and stuff like that. But one thing I never uh, shared, back in 2015, when my YouTube channel started taking off and I got some disposable income, I bought a bunch of Pokemon cards, mainly just for nostalgia, because when I was a kid, I remember opening those cards and I, just to even hold a, pa a pack or a, a booster box was something that I just wanted to relive. And luckily, I sort of struck gold and then of course the whole, you know, I don't know, quarantine happened and people were like, oh, I can't go outside. Pokemon safe? <laughs> and of course the prices skyrocketed. And unfortunately that means that nowadays, if you want to have the experience of opening up a base card, you ain't gonna get that. Like I said, I never, I never showed this, but like that was basically the biggest my collection ever got. To really explain what I'm talking about here, this is a receipt for a base booster box I bought in May of 2015. And this is the exact same type of booster box that sold last month. Just a tiny bit of a difference there. I think I had all of like the base sets, jungles, fossils, even the rare um, Australian uh, jungle booster box that you could get, which is red Pokemon logo. It's pretty much the only difference, but it's a variety and you need to keep it. So hopefully we're going to hit up some more stuff and get some of those rare cards. Oh, don't worry. I know what you're thinking. Does this theme song play in all of these shops? And the answer is yes. Yes, it does. Let's see if we can see any rares, any retros. Oh, there you go. Interesting. So that's a gym. That's an old one. Now that, the Versus series was skipped over in the Western for Wizards of the Coast, but in Japan they didn't. So technically that is a rare card. Nice. <laughs> Even though it's just a water energy. It's not like I'm looking for a rare card though. So I don't know. Oh, there you oh. go. There you go. Vending machine card. Oh, Sweet. nice. A random retro squirtle? Just... I mean, just there? I mean, that's what this is. It's like opening a booster pack, except for you only pay for the good ones. You don't even need to have a stack of things you don't need. I've got some old ones here. A pass card? I've never heard of that. Oh, it's a vending machine card. That's what that is. The bottom right, I'm pretty sure that was only released in the vending machines. And it's only 220. Okay, we're not leaving here empty handed. That's good. <laughs> I'll need to research a little bit more on what that card is, because that back, that's, that's old. One thing would be amazing to find, and I love that they do this and they have all the board games, is the Pokemon original board games. That's a rare one. I saw it not too long ago, but it was in terrible nick. Um, so hopefully, if I... Wacker Diglett. <laughs> I really regret not buying that. Oh, that's from the, the re-release of the Pokemon first movie that, isn't it? Yeah. It's stuff that you just wouldn't find. Like, I would, in 
the UK. What would be like the rare, rarest thing you could find in the UK? Like as far as a place to go to find stuff like this. Like car boot sales, honestly. I don't even know if those exist anymore. You could have a poop maker. Jelly poop. Whoa. That is, that is a fossil. Ha ha ha. A Mosasaurus. Oh, there you go. Okay, so this is the first time we're seeing a band card. I think it's um, Misty's Tears. I know in Japanese it's just called Kasumi. That one's a uh, changed artwork. So that's the first time in four Hobbyoffs we've actually found a card that was banned. I, I thought we'd find way more than that. You can see, really, I only see that bit at the top. Oh, I think that might be it. That, but that's it. So mm. actually, it's not really that bad, if I'm going to be honest. And as far as coloring on the card goes, Seems to be all right. Technique of a pro. It is. It really is. Go. Whoa, that's a pretty one. Oh, hello. Stegosaurus. Oh my god. So my color. So welcome to day two of hunting for Pokemon cards in Japan. We kind of had some good pulls, some good finds. I didn't really find any of the old retro ones that I was wanting, like the band art from the original sets. So we have come here to uh, Hachijoji. As you can see, there is hard off, hobby off, off house mode off, book off, hard off, uh, off, off. There's all of the offs. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we've come here and this is a massive place where everything that they have is here and hopefully fingers crossed they have some rare cards as well I have been here once before I have found some good stuff so hopefully find some good retro cards so let's go this is what we're looking for oh whoa Hello. it's a McDonald's card and it's a promo oh but it's been clipped Damn! This looks to be an exclusive Japanese card, the Don fan. At PSA 10, someone's asking for 55,000, which is 388 quid. This will not get that because it's been clipped. It seems to go for like decent prices otherwise. Um, but yeah, since this is a Japanese exclusive card, which you've actually found one, I'll take this. And these ones as well. These are, I don't know what uh, this is in particular, but it does say first edition at the bottom of all of these. Maybe they always say first edition, but yeah, we're taken anyway. Horsey, Graveler, Macargo, Marie. Really rough. Yeah, they are really rough condition. Oh, look at that, it's been folded. These have been folded, no. Okay, we have looked through all of this. There are thousands of cards, probably millions, maybe not millions, but not millions. thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe. This is all the retro stuff that we've found. And we checked through every card, just flicking through. This is all the energies we found, but I mean, they're all in various states of decay. Uh, <laughs> right, okay, but this is the more interesting ones. You've got all these trainers from various packs. You've got like the retro trainer, you've got the gym heroes, some gen two, Neo Genesis fossils, back to retros with the heels and the potions. There's a lot of these. And then some other Neo Genesis thing. I'm not exactly too sure what that is. Then this one as well. That, I've never seen this card before, but I'm assuming that's just because I've never seen it before. Not that it's a rare one. Uh, oh, that's interesting, but it's a, uh, you know, uh, very beautiful. I'd love to, I'd love to get that one graded. That would be amazing. See what grade that gets. Although, speaking of graded, how about a card that has been folded once, twice? Oh my God! <laughs> you find these ones, did you? You got some Neo Genesis. Oh, that's a good one. Although it's got a, it's got a mark on it. Oh, that's a sticker. That's a bugger. Crabby, crabby, crabby. War turtle. Okay. Let's look at this one. Uh, Monkey, Primer, Hop Up, Natu, Syndical, Mareep, Macargo, Swinub, Graveler, Horsey, Apom, Tentacruel, Monkey, 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 Fero, Snowball, Pidgey, Rhyhorn, Golem, Golduck, Pokeball, Ammonite, Shelder, Sandslash, Abra, Goldeen, and Artillery. And then in this one, we have Zatu, Arbok, Execute, Paris, Medipod, 
Uh, these were an interesting one because I think these are the ones that you scan the barcode of. Stantler, Goldeen, and and really not too bad shabby Kabuto there from um, Ruins or whatever it was called. Again, Gen 2. One I found for Whitney that she wants. A Swirlix. <laughs> I think it is. So out of all of those, probably just going to go get this one. But, well, they're all like, none of them are rare cards or banned cards. And they're all in various conditions. And we'll put all these back. So what we've done is we've been glorified. Sorters. Sorters. So that's good. <laughs> look. Look. Ah. Look at it. It's all retro stuff. He's so happy. Ooh, Togepi, Magica, Caesar. Really, this is so this is all retro. It's so good. This is what you want. This is what you want. Let's have a look. See if we can find any rare cards. I, I don't know if Crokinole had different art. It might have uh, than the uh, UK one. But let's have a look. Why are we saying off in the off, off in the off, off in the <laughs> face? Oh, that's a vending machine card. Yes, get in. Oh, yeah. That's, I don't even know what that says, but it's origin something. No Katamari. Tenki no Katamari? Oh. What is Katamari? Katamari is a game. <gasps> yes! I don't have this one. Wow. Oh, frick yeah. It's the Ban Mumu milk. Oh my god. Because it's like center, it's suckling out of a weird, a weird like cow bottle thing. Hell yeah. I've been looking for this guy. This card banned and in really good condition like look at that banned in the uk or banned everywhere just outside japan Aww. yeah 55 yen so what's that like 30 pence 30 pence you could sell this for like a fiver easy not that i would but you know you could <laughs> see this guy <laughs> whoa that's that's impressive this isn't normal for hobby offs but if you wanted you can buy old Arcade units. Look at that. Beautiful. CRTV screen. Incredibly burnt out. We've also got like this weird thing. I don't even know what you would do. I think you're supposed to scoop. Scoop the balls and into the weight and something like that. I'm not too sure. Gonna play some slots at home. You've got these. Because they're not all slots, you've got screens. You can have a monster hunter one. Even Evangelion. I think Pablo would like that one. So, just like that, the sort of adventure that we embarked on, I think it was like two days ago, maybe a week ago now since I actually recorded it, uh, is over. Yeah, it's, it, it bugs me so much. I have something in my hair right here. God damn it. What can I say? Uh, searching in Japan for Pokemon and Pokemon uh, merchandise is insane. We found some really rare cards, some that I wasn't expecting to find at all, like Game Boy Color Trading Card Game 2, which came with the limited edition Lugia card. I've seen already online that if you grade it at PSA 10, it goes for, you know, such and such amount of money. But really, that's not why I collect this. And it's not why I collected Pokemon in the first place. Back when, in 2015, when I got all those booster boxes, that was literally just because it was nostalgia. And I just wanted to have it in front of me. Little did I know that a YouTuber would then end up, you know, sky hiking the prices so that what was once, a, you know, a little hobby of mine, now you have to be loaded in order to uh, get them. But in Japan, they have have all, as you've seen in this video, a variety of uh, cards that really are quite cheap and are rarities to find, which is kind of what I want. But we're not ending the video here. No, we're actually going to unbox something. <laughs> hey, I like to spoil you guys. Just as a little tidbit of information, I, I bought this shirt the other day because like, I, you know, we did the Pokemon card thing. I might as well buy a shirt. And it came with a freaking collectible card. And not only did it come with a collectible card, I got like a baggie of it. I think it's the mischievous peach. <laughs> so even when I'm not trying to find Pokemon cards, they seem to find me. So that's a thing. But Victor, the uh, cameraman on the first day, was kind enough to gift me with uh, a pack of the newest Pokemon uh, collection cards, whatever you want to call it, that came out, which is a re-release, kind of, of the first 151. You know, the good one. And everywhere we went, they were completely sold out, except for the last place. And he, I think he bought five of them and graciously gave me one of them. So why not we do you a solid, Victor, and we open up on the video? <laughs> not just for me.
<laughs> but also, <laughs> all right. Uh, I've never actually opened one of these before. All I know is that for some reason, the most prized card or the most expensive card in this entire set seems to be Erica. Is it Erica? I used to call her Eureka when I was a kid. <laughs> but yeah, apparently, if it's got a cute girl on it, then uh, in Japan, it seems to go for a lot. Uh, you be the judge of that. I don't know the card trick, but uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of that. Oh, flip it over. Ooh, ghastly. Or in Japanese, is known as ghost. Or gosu. Okay. No idea what that is. Far-fetched. Kamonegi. I think that's like duck onion or something. <laughs> There's definitely an onion in there. Kodaku. Which is, I guess, Kodak, I suppose. Um, oh, is that is that the rare? We've got a cute little Bulbasaur. Oh, that's adorable. Look at him there. That might be the rare. Oh, we got Metamon. Oh, that's nice as well. So that must be it, right? They must be the rare ones. I'm assuming. We got Rapidash, also known as Gyaropu. Gallop. <laughs> Charmeleon. Rizador. Rizador. And that's it. Oh, wow. Not even a single energy. That's amazing. Why did they do that with all of them? <laughs> the ditto kind of reminds me of the, di the ditto I got in the uh, vending machine. Yeah, we get those two up. Look at those two guys. Separated by like 15 years or God knows whatever it was. So thanks again, Victor, for allowing us to... Oh, well, for me to put something at the end of the video. <laughs> Very kind of you. But if I was to say my favorite uh, card I've collected from this whole trip, aside from the super rare one that's down there, honestly, I'm not going to get graded. I'll just keep it like that because just like booster boxes, they're the rare thing. I mean, you can get millions of slabs of plastic with Pokemon cards in, but you can't get the originals. I did cave, and I did spend 24,000 yen on <laughs> this Pikachu, because it's one of the rare ones. It's got, like, the really old back on it. As well as, I mean, we did find the very questionable, unedited original artwork of Jinx. But I really was really stoked when I got the, uh, Moo Moo Milk ones, because, I don't know, it's, it, it, I have this nostalgia with the old cards and the fact that this was banned and we never got it, but it's still, like, original. Actually, strangely enough, one thing I really liked was finding this gym card. Technically, it's not a banned or changed, well, it is changed, but it's not a banned card, but it's also one that wasn't released outside Japan because everyone would be thinking, what the hell is Tokiwa City? <laughs> Instead of like Boulder City or whatever it was. Stuff like that when you find these cards that are super rare or, you know, meaningful in a way, it's like, you know, it wasn't on the list of my things to find, but I found it anyway. I mean, that's what the hunt's all about. And hopefully, going forward, if this video does well, or if, you know, I leave Tokyo at some point, maybe we can do a cross-country Japan search for the where the rarest, the rarest cards uh, we can find. But if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.